And GE's stock price isn't the only thing on the rise. Food prices in California are likely to increase amid the severe drought. The farming sector is struggling to maintain water output as water supplies dry up. May Lee introduces us to a new farming method that uses much less water. Two loves of my life, you know. Ooh, look at these. Yeah, aren't those beautiful? This is the world of Adam Navidi, chef, inventor, farmer, and mastermind behind Future Foods Farms. So you can see we're growing them different sizes. Some of them yeah. we have more on there. Some are smaller pipes, some are bigger pipes. These are actually recycled pipes that are now home to just some of the lettuce grown here. But Future Foods is no ordinary farm. Everything here is grown using aquaponics, the science of using greenhouses, live fish, no soil, and very little water. Adam's organic aquaponic system starts with live tilapia. So in this one we got, you know, like 200 tilapia. So they're all kind of hiding out down at the bottom right now, maybe just because it's... The fish are fed organic, nutrient-rich aqua plants. Their waste is then filtered with water through an irrigation system to the plants. Some float on recycled styrofoam lids, others on simple trays, and some grow in volcanic rock and shale. And because the water is naturally filtered by the plants and then cycled back into the fish tanks, this aquaponics farm is a self-sustaining ecosystem. What's perhaps most impressive about aquaponics is how little water is used. The farm's water bill to maintain the 10-hectare facility is just $100 a month. The farm's produce is sold at local farmers markets and also goes to Chef Navidi's restaurant, Oceans and Earth, where it's all about farm to table. Fresh salad is, of course, on the menu here at the restaurant, but there's a very big difference compared to a salad made from produce from a conventional farm. The Future Foods salad probably took about three to four gallons of water to make, whereas a traditional salad, 30 to 40 gallons. For Adam Navidi, that's proof enough that aquaponics may be a big part of the answer to a drought-ridden world. Some people don't believe there's a drought, and you know, some people don't believe you can grow food this way. You know, it's still, you know, it's it's uh, it's it's one of those things you have to see to believe. I don't think there's any other more efficient farming method in the world. May Lee, CCTV, Brea, California. Finally, a cafe in Manila is serving up artsy cups of coffee. The graphic artist owner of Bunny Baker Coffee Cafe in the Philippines makes caricatures in coffee froth for its customers. Originally, bunny rabbits were the go-to novelty, but as the gimmick gained traction, the artwork also evolved. Most requests are for cartoon characters, but Filipino boxer Manny Pacquiao or family members' portraits are also popular choices.